So I love making a variety of dishes, but I can't forget about the classics. And for this time of year, I've got the perfect dish because this right here is my apple crumb pie, made healthy vegan style. No oil, no wheat, no refined sugar. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own. All right, so the first step in making this delicious apple pie is to make the pie crust. Now, typically when people make pie crust, they're using things like refined wheat and butter and oil and those kind of ingredients, but we're doing it healthy vegan style. So we're gonna use almond flour and some other ingredients. Now, if you wanna see how to make this step by step, you can tap right here and it'll take you to my video and it'll show you how to make my pie crust step by step. Okay, so let's get it rolled out. So I often have people ask me if they can use different flours than the ones that I use in certain recipes. With this recipe, I'm using almond flour because it has a fair amount of fat. And along with the flax egg, it gives a really good consistency to the finished product. If you use oat or even chickpea flour, I don't know that the fat content would be um, high enough to get a good result. All right, so I wanted to mention one thing to you. Now, if you notice, I cut the pie crust around the inner edge of the pie pan. Now, typically people may let the crust overlap the edge, but because this is almond flour, it cooks a little faster. So it has the tendency to burn up really easily. And so if you're the type of person that loves that outer edge of crust and you wanna have it on there, you can leave it there. But you wanna make sure that the lid that you put on your pie pan is big enough to cover the outside edge so that it doesn't burn. But in my case, my lid is gonna fit pretty snugly, so I just went ahead and cut around the inner edge of the pie crust, and that's why I have it like this. All right, let's get our filling done. All right, so we got our pie crust made and set aside. Now the next thing is we're gonna make the filling for the pie. Now to make it, we're gonna use some apples, uh, some date paste, some arrowroot powder, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg. Now, when it comes to the type of apple you use, it's optional. I like to use a Granny Smith's, it's one of my favorite apples. Granny Smith's are sweet, but they also have a tartness to them, and I like that tart flavor along with the sweetness in a pie. I think it's the perfect blend, but of course, you could use uh, any apple you want, but Granny Smith's are my choice. Okay, I'm gonna get these peeled, cut, and we're gonna make our filling, and then get it into our pie crust. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. All right, so now I've got my apples cut and it's time to get them in the bowl so I can get my other ingredients mixed in really well to complete the apple filling. So we're gonna get our apples into the bowl and then mix in our date paste and our spices and our filling is done. And think about it, why go to a store and pick up a pie that has a dozen unnecessary ingredients when you can make your own? Healthy vegan eating and cooking can be healthy, delicious, and simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, so we got our filling done and mixed. Now it's time to uh, put it into our pie crust and get it into the oven. Okay, so I'm putting my apples into my crust and I want you to notice that I'm filling this pie shell all the way up to the top with the apples and then some. And this is because as they cook, they're gonna exude water and some of the volume's gonna be lost and I want the pie to still be full. Okay, so we've got our pie put together. We got it in the oven baking. While the pie is baking, we're gonna make our topping for it. Now this is a standard crumb topping um, and you've probably seen me make this before. What I use is uh, some nuts. Now I'm using walnuts, as you know, I love my walnuts, they're the healthiest, but you could use pecans or any other kind of nut that you like or a combination of a couple of different nuts. I'm using walnuts. And then I wanna to talk to you a minute about dates. So I'm gonna mix dates with the walnuts to make this topping. And you know, some people have asked me if you have to use a medjool dates, which is what I typically use. And the answer is you don't have to. Um, the dates are added for sweetness and any type of date is gonna be sweet. This is a neglect, a neglect date right here. And these um, are just as sweet as a medjool, but these are, um, the texture's a little chewier, not quite as soft um, as a medjool, right? So when I'm making something like a crumb topping where I want the crumbs to be kind of coarse, I find that these are better because they're a little harder to chop up, which is a good thing if you want to leave them coarse. These will get really mushy quickly. Now, I've used these before to make the same topping, so if you have medjool dates, feel free to use them. But, um, you know, I guess ideally you would use neglect, the neglect dates. So um, that's what I'm gonna use today. 
So this crumb topping is a really simple recipe and I've done it several times so some of you may be familiar with it. When it comes to how much topping you put on, it's really a matter of preference. I'm putting a decent amount, but if you really like a crumb topping, you could even add more. All right, so my pie has been cooked. It's out of the oven and I'm ready to cut it. But I just want to take a minute and appreciate the simplicity of making this pie. You know, so many times we go to the store and we just grab a box of this or a box of that and we throw it in the oven thinking it's convenient. But this really didn't take a lot of effort and the result is amazing. And now for my favorite part, let's give it a try. Mmm, that's really good. So if you're new to my channel and you're not sure how to get the recipe, look below the video and tap on the word more. You'll see the beginning of the recipe. Then tap on the word more a second time and you'll see the full recipe. And then you can begin to make your own.